Good morning, Mr. Ryan. Glad you could see Good me. Good morning, Mr. Wyman. Take a seat. Mr. Wyman, how many years have you exerted your services into Ryan Industries? Oh, well, uh, let me think about that. I believe it's been a good six as of now. Six and a half. Never sell yourself short, young man. The great chain recognizes all who grasp it. Well, thank you, sir. I, I... One of those months out of one of those years were duly spent inside of the newly reconverted Fontaine department store. You were there when his once legally sold contraband was replaced with our own quality yes, product. Yes, that, that's right. Which means you're one of the few of my employees who at least hones an idea of that once reputable place. What were your specialities? Stock? Manufacturing on Monday, stocking on Tuesday. Excellent. It wasn't an easy task, I know. There are times you sweat and there are times you sit. Unfortunately, in this case, I wish we could trade sides. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Ryan. At first, I thought the man you had come to get me was there for something else. But I didn't expect an audience with Andrew Ryan himself. Something else, you say? Well, I... I uh... No, no, you're referring to your longly awaited promotion, aren't you? Well, yeah, but uh, that has been a recurring thought. But I made no statement. No, that is a completely acceptable order for someone with your background. Completely acceptable indeed. You, you see, Mr. Wyman, I've been in dire need of an individual who has... Knowledge about the department store such as yourself. As you may know, Fontaine's former conspirators, as well as the dog himself, Atlas, have been well removed from this city via the establishment. It floats in an endless suspension just beyond the city limits. Yes, I understand. Good. I've, in the past, delivered hard workers such as yourself to the confines of that place, most commonly for the extra pay. But in your case, I want to try something new. I wish to send you back to the department store for one last inventory check. You, so you mean the one where Atlas is now? Yes, Mr. Wyman. But in place of your usual wage, I, in return, will personally sign a check of 5,000 rapture dollars and grant you your promotion. Oh, well, uh, well, Mr. Ryan, I... This counts as official top rapture security work, Mr. Wyman. You will be receiving top rapture security work pay. What do you say? Well, uh, well, what do I need to do, sir? Perform surveillance, of course. The job's rather easy, just like the others have told me. You see, the hypocrisy of Atlas is that he plays his fools. He's some sort of family man, a man of the people. And with your assigned persona, you'll blend right in with the fold. Can I count on you? You have a family. Well, yes, sir. A wife and two boys. We've... Uh... We've been meaning to move recently. My street has... Well... Then this sounds like the perfect upgrade for you and your family. And at the same time, another securing layer for the people of Rapture. Can I count on your support, sir? Well, yeah, always, Mr. Ryan. Great. Security will fill you in on the details. Once it's done, my good friend Sullivan will hand you the check and the written details of your promotion. No need to see Mr. Williams after which. He is your facilitator, correct? Yes, sir. Sullivan, I have someone for you to see about the department store. Mr. Ryan, I, I don't know. My wife and family are really dependent on me. And now that I think of it... I... My friend... A man chooses to do everything he can to ascend his family the furthest from a life of poverty, while a parasite... <sighs> well, you and I know what a parasite does. Calm yourself. You will be supplied with efficient protection and the best technology Ryan Industries has to offer. You would know, wouldn't you? <laughs>